What is up guys, Jake from OneHive here with our next attack strategy video. I know it's one you guys been waiting for, Penta Laloon. Uh, we're bringing five Lava Hounds. There's a little bit of variation on the uh, remaining troops. A lot of people will bring five Lava Hounds and 20 Loons. Uh, some people will drop a few of those Loons for a few minions, uh, clean up troops to help out. But either way, it's the same concept. It works the same way. Uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, the, this is the type of base you want to look for on uh, when you're doing this, this style of attack, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that. When you do this, it's it's pretty much a spam attack. Uh, you can do it a little bit targeted, but basically you're going to send all five of your Lava Hounds on one side of the base. They're going to go to two different air defenses. Uh, then you're going to back that up with balloons, whether it's targeted or just spamming it. It's going to be pretty much the same outcome. You're going to save a few loons for the back side, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, then you're going to just drop your rages. You're bringing four rage spells. You're just going to keep everything raged and moving through the base. Uh, the first thing you're looking for in a base when you're when you're scouting out, hey, I'm going to try to do a, a pentalala on this base, is you want the defensive buildings to be in groups around the air defenses. When your lava hound goes, when you drop a lava hound from here, if these archer towers were out here out of range or you know down here out of range of this air defense and what I mean by out of range when the lava hound is standing here you can see that all the surrounding defenses this archer tower that the wizard tower the expo uh, all of those defenses are in range of the lava hound so they're all going to be targeting the lava hound what that means to you is every balloon is completely protected when you send these Lava Hounds in here, you've got one standing on each of these. All of these defenses, all of this is targeting your Lava Hounds. Your balloons are completely safe to roam free. So that's the type of base you, you want. You can send Lava Hounds in here, and what uh, Shadow does on this one is sends uh, one down the middle. And you want, that's a good, another good point, you want to spread the deployment of your Lava Hounds. You want them going to these, but you want different angles because you want to soak up any air traps that are out there. If I was Shadow, I would have dropped this one a little further to this side because technically, in my opinion, you want the third Lava Hound to be on the queen side. You know, that, those Lava Hounds are going to die faster. You want more pups over there to help take her out. Uh, so on this base, you're going to send all your Lava Hounds. Immediately, you're going to send all your balloons. You're going to hold back five or six balloons, something like that, for the backside. Again, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, then you want to keep them raged. Basically, the, the front side rage is much more important. The reason being, you're going to be dealing with CC troops. So your pups, once your Lava Hound starts busting, your pup's job is to take out the CC troops and take out the queen. So this entire area, you'll see the entire time the pups, the Lava Hounds are there, he keeps that raged, and the the, CC, the pubs are going to completely take out the CC troops. They're going to take out the queen, but if you don't have them raged, they just don't do it quite quick enough, and it can ruin your raid. Uh, so keep that rage there. Don't worry about having rages down here for the backside. Uh, the reason being, as these air defenses go down, your loons get in there, they go down, uh, the, the lava hounds are going to go straight down. They're going to move to these next air defenses. Uh, the, but the great thing about it is, look at the base still. Okay, you're, you're, this is all dead. You've killed this area up here. So this is all taken out. The Lava Hounds move their way down. But now, still look at what, what we talked about on the top side. All of this, that, that Wizard Tower might be the one exception. But this Expo, this Expo, these Archer Towers, this Wizard Tower, they're all in the coverage area to where they're going to be targeting your Lava Hounds. They're, the Lava Hounds are going to get there much quicker than your balloons. As soon as these all engage your Lava Hounds, now you're free to drop your back end five or six balloons in here to take these defenses out. Uh, again, that's why you don't have to worry about rages there because they're, they're going to get there so quickly there's not much left there. But look for bases to where when your Lava Hounds are at the air defenses, all the surrounding towers are going to be focused on your Lava Hounds and not your balloons. Then you can just spam it. You can save a few uh, spam the top side, keep it raged, keep a rage on top of that queen. As soon as a, a Lava Hound bust on that air defense, you want those pups raged immediately. Keep a rage right where the Clan Castle troops are being engaged and where the a pups, uh, Lava Hounds bust in there for those pups. And then just rage them through the base. Uh, you've got four rages. You can be pretty liberal applying them. 
put them where they need to be. But the, the main factor on success of a Penta Laloon attack is the location of the air defenses. Uh, it usually works well when they're parallel like this. You know, you've got a perfect, you know, rectangle here. Uh, that usually is the base that you want to look for and one to where the defenses are not outside of the range of your lava hound when they're parked at the air defense. You want everything targeting it so your balloons are completely protected. Uh, let's clear all this off. Let's watch Shadow do it, then we'll move on to another base. All right, here we go. Coming in from the top, you see, again, just dropping the lava hounds. Uh, bring a max one in your CC, obviously. Don't bring balloons in your CC. Uh, see how you dropped a little bit to the left there? I would have dropped that to the right side on the queen side. But right there immediately, rages. Yes, the balloons are getting the benefit of it, but more importantly, those lava pups. Uh, they've got to be raged. That's the only way you're going to be successful taking out the clan castle troops and that uh, the, the defensive queen. Right there, he gets a little lucky. I think he gets one uh, balloon drop on top of the queen, which will happen sometimes. And that's nice if he happens to stand right on a... Uh, defensive building so that's great then you see the back end loons coming in but does it when the lava hounds are in range of those air defenses and the defensive buildings are targeting them uh, you see how fast that happens it's all over but the crying at this point gg i mean th this one's over he didn't even use his heroes until the, for cleanup duty uh, people have asked me a lot of times what what strategy they have a chance with uh, to three star without any heroes both heroes are upgrading this one you at least have you at least have a chance on an upgraded base uh, but it has to be the right style of base uh, but really nice attack by shadow just just rolled through that base and you, hopefully you saw the steps that went into it it seemed like a quick spam attack but it was pretty technical we'll look at another one all right here's the next one d taking out a base that's sort of similar but not really you still see the uh, the square or rectangle shape of the air defenses, that's always good on these type bases. And again, look at this. When a, when, and lava hound, or excuse me, when a lava hound is standing at, or flying at this air defense, all of these defenses are going to be targeting it. This entire area is going to be protected. Same on this side. They're all going to be targeting that lava hound. So everything you deploy balloon-wise is going to be completely safe. Uh, not not being hit, it's going to be focused on this, uh, this expo as well. Focused on those lava hounds. As these go down, uh, the lava hounds obviously are going to work their way down. Same story down here. As they're, as the lava hounds make their way, the queen, these archer towers, uh, the Teslas in the core, they're all going to be focused on the lava hounds, and that's the trick to doing this. You bring in enough lava hounds to make it to the back side of the base. Uh, DLX not to even hold a few loons for the backside. I would have held probably four loons and done two there and two there as the lava hounds uh, made their way down and the archer towers engaged them. But uh, but Dita's a little bit different. He sends this uh, he sends his queen on the top. She just takes out this defense, uh, which is kind of nice because then the, the balloons don't have to travel sort of back up to get there. You don't have to send any from that direction. Uh, then just sends uh, three hounds. Oh, she may actually think he said the other side. Uh, two hounds there. Three hounds here, spread out different deployment angles. Uh, again, I would do the third hound on the queen side, but didn't do it. Uh, drops his rage, four rages. Uh, I would have also probably had the rages a little lower, but you'll see in the, in the attack, uh, one lava hound sits there under rage and takes that queen out. So that's pretty neat to see. Uh, but everything just works its way through the base, taking it out because, again, it's all about the coverage. It's all about the fact that everything's hitting his lava hounds and not hitting the, balloon, the loons which allows them to just wreak havoc on the base. So let's clear this out of the way. We'll watch it, then we'll watch, come back to draw on one more. All right, here we go. Queen goes down up top. Uh, just going to take out a few trash buildings and then take out that cannon. Uh, then the air defense, or excuse me, then the air attack is going to start as soon as that's done. Uh, all that point defense locking on his queen and goes has, has to use his ability pretty quickly. A uh, few balloons go down there, just targeted balloons. Then here comes the lava hounds. Again, three on the right side, two on the left, different angles. Uh, then just sort of, he targeted on those two archer towers, then sort of just spammed the other ones. But did it pretty nice and wide to where those archer towers on the uh, three and nine o'clock positions got targeted as well. Keeping them raged, uh, you'll see the, the lava pups start to bust here and start taking out some of the CC troops. Some of the balloons crashing are going to get some of those. And you'll see right here, it's hard to sort of notice the, uh, the lava pup I'm talking about targeting the queen there. Look at that. 
that one pup's targeting her took her down because it was standing in that rage. They're very powerful in a rage. Uh, but you see again how quick these happen. Uh, that's one uh, benefit to these attack styles is that they're going to happen quickly, win, win or lose. Uh, and if you do it right, you know, you can take a base out in a minute 45, you know, maybe, maybe something like that, minute and a half, minute 45, which is very quick. Uh, so a nice attack. Let's look at one more, then we'll wrap this up. All right, the last one we're going to look at is an attack by Marcus. Uh, not as not a completely max town all nine, but you've seen it on the ones before. I mean, it can be done on that. This is just a good example of it. Again, you see that sort of square or rectangular uh, orientation of the air defenses. And again, as the lava hounds come to these air defenses and they're parked there, all of these towers, everything around them is going to be able to reach them. So they're all going to be focused on it. And the balloons are free to come in, targeted, take out every defensive building around there. As these go down and the lava hounds move their way to the bottom, same story on the bottom. All these defenses are clumped up around these air defenses, uh, which makes it perfect for this type of attack. You'll see a Tesla pops right here, and there's a lava hound, uh, I believe it's on that air defense. And you'll just watch at the end there, the, the Lava Hound's sitting there tanking, you know, I, th I believe it's a, a wizard tower in that, and it's just tanking, the balloons are slowly working their way in, uh, and then once they get there, taking out. Obviously, he does drop his rages uh, here and here, and then keeps them raged. Uh, again, it's better to do it on the top half, keep them raged for that queen, for the lava, uh, for the CC troops, for the lava pups to take out. So focus on uh, getting them raged early and keeping those hound, not the hounds, but the lava pups raged as the hounds start to bust. They're going to clean up all those uh, dangerous queen and CC troops for you. Uh, then the, he just uses his queen uh, and king. Basically, it's clean up down here. Uh, again, it's, it's an attack that is not heavily dependent on the king and queen, unlike like the Gola Loon uh, that really leans heavily on some high-level heroes. This one does not. Uh, so for early, mid, you know, Town Hall night, this is a very powerful attack against the right base. I don't want to give the impression this is a, a, a cure-all. It's not a perfect attack. It will not take out every base. If someone knows how to set their air defenses up uh, where there, a lot of the defensive buildings are not in range so that as the lava hound, let's just pretend he had an air defense right here. As that lava hound moved to it, if, if this wizard tower, for instance, was out of range, it will be targeting the balloons that are deployed as opposed to focus on the, on the lava hound. So, not every base is going to be perfect for this, but it is very powerful. Let's watch this last attack and then we'll wrap up. Okay, Marcus coming in straight from the top. Uh, Lava Hounds go down immediately, backed up by balloons. You see he's doing just a, a pretty much a spam attack there. Uh, he again does not save any balloons for the bottom. You don't have to do it that way. It's sort of dependent, but I, I kind of like it, especially if you can target uh, this one you can't really because of the positioning, but if you can target the remaining towers that can hit your balloons, I like to save a few for the backside. Uh, but you see that they're keeping everything raged. The pups are doing an awesome job. They wiped out the CC troops already, basically. Uh, the queen's going down right here. Uh, then you'll see, again, this lava hounds as they're standing down here at the bottom. Uh, that last lava hound is doing some... The air defenses are down, but it's standing in the middle doing some tanking for both that wizard tower and the Tesla. It busts just in time. The last defense goes down. That can really hurt them. You got that one archer tower over there. But look at the mass number of pups, balloons, everything left over. Uh, just a beautiful attack. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you liked it. Hope you uh, learned something from it. This is a very powerful attack that can be used on specific type bases. I uh, hope it gets you some three stars and gets you some war wins. Until next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.